Hi everyone, thanks for watching this week's video. Okay, so uh, if you're a lover of Nutella or cheesecake or both, um, I think this is definitely the video for you. Um, today I'm making a baked Nutella cheesecake. Um, this is definitely one of my favourite desserts. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make that today. Okay, so we're going to start off with the base. So you're going to need 250 grams of digestive biscuits. So I'm just going to bash these up. Okay, so once they're all bashed up, uh, we'll get them into a bowl. Okay, and to that we're going to add 50 grams of chopped toasted hazelnuts. 125 grams of butter, which I'm just going to melt down and add to the, to the mix. Okay, so we'll just add that melted butter to our mix. Just give that a good mix. Okay, so that's ready to go into our tin. Okay, so once you've got that all in, just, um, just going to let that chill in the fridge for about 20 minutes. Okay, so now we're going to make the filling. So we'll start off with the cream cheese. We've got 500 grams of full fat cream cheese. And we're also going with uh, 400 grams of Nutella. And I've got four large uh, free range egg yolks. Um, you can use uh, medium eggs if you like, but if you do use five instead of four, I'm going with four large. Straight into that. And give that a good mix up. Um, obviously you can do this by hand, uh, in a bowl by hand, but I'm using the machine today just, for, just to make it quicker. Okay, so once that's gone nice and smooth, we'll go in now with our uh, condensed milk. So I've got two cans of condensed milk, straight in with that. Okay, I'll just give that another mix. Okay, so once that's all mixed and it's nice and smooth, we'll get that out. Okay, so we'll get our mix straight into our tin. Okay, so our mix is just ready to go in the oven now. Just before it goes in the oven, I'm just going to put a layer of uh, chopped toasted hazelnuts on top of the cake, just before it goes in the oven. Okay, so we're now going to bake this in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for around 35 minutes. Okay, so that's our cheesecake just came out of the oven. Um, it's been in the oven for about 35 minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this cool down and we're going to put it in the fridge and let it chill for at least four hours before we cut it. Okay, so our cheesecake's been chilling now for about four hours. So we're just going to carefully remove it from the tin. 
So just get a sharp knife and just carefully go around the edges. Okay, then we're just going to carefully remove this from the tin. Okay, so now we're ready just to decorate this up. Okay, so now I'm just going to whip up a little bit of cream. So I've got some double cream here, about 100 ml of double cream. And I'm just going to whisk this up and I'm going to use this just to decorate the cheesecake. Okay, so that's now ready. Okay, so I'm just going to put the cream into a piping bag. Um, I've got a little star-shaped nozzle which I'm going to use. Okay, so I'm just going to dot the outside of this with uh, some of the cream. Um, depending on how many portions you want to get out of your cheesecake will depend on how many dots of cream you put around. So I'm going to cut this into 12, um, so 12 big portions, but you could easily get 16 out of this. So. Okay, so I've got these uh, Ferrero Rocher chocolates and uh, I'm going to use these just to garnish the cake and um, I think this is a nice little touch. Okay, so that's our cake just ready to cut. Okay, so to cut the cheesecake, just make sure you've got a hot knife. So if you just get a jug of hot water and put your knife in there, you'll just get a nice cleaner cut. Thanks everyone for watching my video today, I hope you liked it, um, please give this a go um, and if you like my videos um, please give them a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.